I'll say day three was pretty good. Yeah, day three was pretty good, man. Um, the guy, uh, I think the most impactful thing that I learned today was the guy, Pete Vargas. He was talking about leveraging the power of stages, which is something I haven't really heard before. I know he's spoken at a Grant Cardone, uh, I think one of the growth cons previously, I wasn't able to make that. But um, he talked about how um, you can use stages or like uh, podcasts, um, webinars, um, live, live public stages. You can use those stages, those platforms to grow your business, right? Because people will find you. It builds, you know, uh, it builds rapport. Um, so it's, it's something that I ain't never really thought about, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, I think that was the most insightful thing I took away from today. And, uh, today we did talk about scaling. We talked about scaling the business. Uh, they, they focus a lot on employees, which, uh, like I said before, like the last two days, I don't really have a ton of employees. So, you know. Uh, maybe I need to get some <laughs> maybe uh, maybe that might be a sign that um, I need to grow my team I really think uh, this business boot camp is really good for people who have uh, traditional business structure like for example they highlighted HVAC companies so I guess if you're trying to sell more AC units you might want to come to this so you can grow your cell team to sell more air conditioning units uh, to me it's like uh, that's not really applicable um, for my business, what I do, you know, I'm buying, uh, I'm making a large investment, I'm fixing it up, I'm forcing appreciation, and I'll sell it for more, I'll refinance. You know, uh, most of these people probably, you know, they have a uh, traditional business model, which is cool. And I think, uh, I think this 10X, this 10X business bootcamp might be perfect for somebody with that traditional business model. Overall, I think I would rate this 10X business bootcamp Overall, probably a six out of 10. Uh, I think the most impactful things that I took away was uh, the scaling information, leveraging the power of stages. Uh, what else? What else? The marketing stuff. Like I said, even the marketing was very general. I was really looking for them to talk about, you know, maybe a percentage. How much should you spend in marketing? If you make if you make money on a deal or whatever, how much of that, how much of that revenue should go back as a percent into more marketing, you know? Um, they didn't get into depth in any of that stuff. So it was a lot of high level, it was a lot of high level stuff that they talked about. And I think what it did for me was really open my eyes into things that I'm not doing in my business. And I think that's why I would even give it a six out of 10 is because when I get home, I'm gonna look at different areas of my business and say, okay, how can I do more in this area? How can I be more impactful? How can we do more with less? How can we, you know, reach more? How can we follow up better? So I think that was the biggest thing that I took away from this business boot camp. It just like opened my eyes uh, to things that I'm not doing or things that I could be doing better. Tomorrow will be day one of the real estate summit. I'm really excited for that because like I said, that will be more specific to real estate investors, developers, agents. I hope they don't get up there and just talk about the market and this and that, like that won't be helpful. But I think uh, focusing on finding deals in today's market, uh, financing deals, is always come down, real estate is a very simple business. It always come down to finding, uh, finding, fixing, no, finding, funding, and fixing. It always come down to those three things. You find a property, you fund the deal, you fix it up, However you choose to exit, either you sell it on, on the retail market, wholesale it, refinance it. It's all, you know, your exit is your exit. But it always comes down to those three things. So if they talking now, if they talking about anything outside of that, question marks start to go up, you know what I mean? Because it always, like I said, real estate is a very simple business. It always comes down to those three things. But we'll see, like I said, I always go into these things with an open mind. Uh, I'm excited to be out here. I'm excited to learn from one of the best of this generation, Grant Cardone is probably the best sales trainer, uh, maybe of all time, you know? Uh, so I still wanna shout out and commend them for uh, the event that they put on this week. Oh, another thing. So I wanna talk about my experience. I talked about uh, what I learned at the, I talked about what I learned here at the uh, 10X Business Bootcamp. 
I want to talk about my experience at the business boot camp, okay? Um, because I think this might be helpful for you in case you're considering to go into your very first conference on in whatever business that you're in or real estate or whatever. Um, my experience here was okay. Like, uh, everybody was like, you know, super friendly, but they had a objective. And um, so, for example, I mean, if y'all don't know, Grant Cardone is a sales guy. His team, they're a sales, they're a very, uh, they're a very professional sales team. So it always comes back to sales. That's not a problem, but uh, I believe personally that you should lead with value, okay? Um, you lead with value and people will want to do business with you. People will naturally be like, okay, yeah, I need this for my company, blah, blah, blah. If you have to, if you have to focus so hard to convince them to buy your product and service and all that, you know, I only want to do business with people that's happy to do business with me. That's my, that's my motto, you know what I mean? So my experience was just like, everybody was like, you know, they'll come talk to you, but it was not genuinely, hey, tell me about you, where are you coming from? Welcome, you know what I mean? When you walk into the hotel, as big and nice as that property is, you don't even know how to get to the conference room. They got what well, they said they had 200 people on staff. Ain't nobody even at the very front door navigating you until how to get to the conference room. So like I was saying, I mean, you walk in the building, it's your first time, it might be your first time in Miami. It might, it's definitely probably your first time in this space, even if it's not your first time. There's nobody at the front to even, <clears throat> there's nobody at the front to even say, Hey, welcome. Are you here for the growth? Uh, are you here for the business boot camp? Oh, this is how you get to this is how you get to the conference room. As much as many people as they have on staff, you would think that they would at least welcome the guests, you know what I mean? Uh just be more attentive. I mean, you come in to talk to somebody, you come in to talk to a stranger that's flew out here from wherever they from, at least ask them, "Hey, what line of work are you in?" You know, what are the needs of your business? Nobody did that, bro. Like, they all came, and you can go back and watch the day one when I was talking to the guy. You know, it was all about, oh, upgrade the VIP. For what? The information's still the same. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it got to the point yesterday, one of the guys was like, uh, was he saying upgrade the VIP or, or whatever it was? I was like, bro, okay, let's do this. I said, you pull up your bank account right now. If you got more money than me, I will invest a million dollars in Cardone Capital. I will upgrade the VIP uh, for the real estate summit. You pull up your bank account, you got more than, more money than me, I'll do it right now, no question asked. He starts stuttering, he starts doing all this stuff. It's like, it's so ridiculous, you know what I mean? So, and like I said, that's not taking nothing away from Grant Cardone or his sales team, but uh, I just personally believe it might be a Southern thing, lead with value. Lead with value, you know what I mean? Ask me, hey, what a, what business, what line of work are you in? Oh, you you in real estate? Oh, okay, cool. Are you coming to the real estate summit? Okay, cool. Let me um let me introduce. And I will say there were a couple people um that you know talked about the real estate club, talked about the uh she was telling me the benefits of the club and stuff like that, and that's cool. You know what I mean? So you know, not everybody. It was not everybody, but I would just say like they should be more attentive to their uh clients or their customers. Uh, needs you know and that was just my experience and I'll say and for and it always comes back to the value proposition right this is a conference you know yeah they're trying to upsell you on more programs and seminars and things like that that's fine bro. I have no problem with that I have no problem investing my education hence why I'm out here right the the, the problem is that the value like I said I rated this overall business boot camp a 6 out of 10 I just personally don't believe that for what I paid to come to this that the value was there I didn't really learn anything in depth anything thorough that tangibly would take my business to the next level everything was very high level okay so with that being said it's like the value proposition why would I want to join a real estate club for X amount of dollars you know what I'm saying um, when my when the first investment that I made hasn't been hasn't you know hasn't been anything significant you know there was no significant value that i received from that why would i want to keep you know doing more courses with y'all <laughs> you know it just didn't make doesn't make any sense uh another thing too is i just think that like if you're watching this you don't go to a lot of conferences and seminars uh i feel like based on personally my experience that i experienced this you know this last couple of days is like it really turns people off from wanting to invest 
in their education and taking their business to the next level because everything that I learned over the last couple of days, you probably can learn on YouTube for free. If not more, you'll probably learn more. You will probably learn more on YouTube, more thorough, in-depth information with for your business needs on YouTube. And I feel like that's kind of the unfortunate thing because it will it will really prevent people from wanting to go to conferences, right? Because just the value proposition, isn't a lot of value in there. So anyway, guys, that's just my personal, that's just per my personal experience, my personal feedback. Um, it's not taking nothing away from Grant Cardone and his team, um, but I would just encourage them to lead with value. Lead with value, you know? Uh, it can't always be about the next sale. You got to lead with value. Until next time, my friends, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Peace.